All right, so we're going to learn about our love style with this um, piece of paper. So I apologize that when I scanned it in, it doesn't look as great. If I was super cool teacher, then I would have retyped it all. But as you know, I'm struggling just to try to get all these lectures online this semester. Um, so I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get to retype it because I'd rather just make these videos. Um, so anyway, uh, you can read about the styles of loving in your textbook. Uh, they go over it. I'll probably put a link to another website where you can read more about them because it's really fascinating. I read the whole book um, about these and it's so interesting to see how the styles match. But you're trying to find out your top two love styles. Um, so you answer all of these questions, true or false. Okay, so let me just show you how to do this. So you have to download three pieces of paper. So one is Style of Loving number one PDF. Um, so this is a graph. So you're gonna see how you're gonna write true or false. So on number one, you'll write true or false. Number two, true or false. Um, then there's a backside to it. So you have a total of uh, 50 questions and you just put true or false in here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna count the number of trues. So you see how there's a blank space, but then this one's grayed in, is you just count the number of trues. So let's say that I have three trues right here. So then I would go over to the S and I would mark it a three here. Let's say that I had um, seven in the A. So then I would find the seven on the A. So again, you're counting the number of trues. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna make a graph for you. And this graph is gonna tell you what your top two love styles are. And then you can understand, okay, when I say I love you, this is what love means to me. But the great thing is, is to understand, okay, this is what I seem to need in love and this is what I believe in love, but other people have different beliefs. And understanding what your needs are and understanding what your partner's needs are is so important. And so we're doing styles of loving, and again, you can read more about it, but then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do love languages. So not only do we have different beliefs about love, but we have different ways that we want love expressed to us, and that's what the five love languages is. Okay, so go ahead and do these styles of loving because they're part of your course project. Have fun!